But we're going to start with some major breaking news. Two plus years after the death of Manny Ellis, the Pierce County Council has just agreed to a $4 million settlement with his family. Thank you so much for joining us for the News at 4. I'm Matthew Smith. Now, Manny Ellis died in 2020 while under arrest by Tacoma police. The Pierce County Medical Examiner eventually ruled his death as a homicide. Fox 13's AJ Janavel is in the newsroom tracking the latest details from this breaking story. Right. Pierce County Council approved the settlement right at 3 this afternoon. Now, during its council meeting, the approval came with no discussion or public input. It was lumped in with several other unrelated agenda items. 33-year-old Manny Ellis was killed while in police custody in March of 2020. An investigation showed Ellis was placed in a chokehold and restrained, telling officers he couldn't breathe. Three Tacoma police officers are charged in the killing. All have pleaded not guilty. The family filed a lawsuit against the city of Tacoma and members of law enforcement, as well as a suit against Pierce County for its involvement in the wrongful death. Council voted to pay out $4,010,000 in the settlement. Now, I've been speaking with the Ellis family attorney today about this announcement. I'm hoping to hear more from him later today.